Hello, it is Mulala, and today I'm going to be doing a $1 craft kit testing video. So I went to the dollar store looking for some squishies, and they didn't have any, but you know what? I was fine with that. Whatever. They had $1, like, kits, and they were craft kits. And I wanted to try these out, because they're only a dollar. Here is what the kit looks like. Um, it is a frog. It comes with these paints, a paintbrush. Here is just the box. Okay, so this kit was one dollar. Just see how much paint is in here, okay? Oh, wow. Oh, I hate the feel of ceramic. So here is our frog. And I don't know if this is like, I mean, it's probably not hand done. But I don't know if you can see there's like red little like nicks in it. And like this looks like it was hand cut by an exacto knife because if you can see those are like blades, but whatever. I mean, it was only a dollar. I shouldn't be complaining that much. And then here's what I was really looking for. Okay, so from the, blah, 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 the, the, the box, you'd think, hey, there's gonna be enough paint to cover this. So of course I haven't started yet, but I'm assuming that this amount of paint, which is probably a thimble, a thimble full of paint, will not cover this entire frog. And then lastly in this box is a paintbrush. This is like one of those paintbrushes that come with those watercolor kits. It's just like really fine, wiry plastic. Okay, let's take a look at these paints. What I find interesting is a classic color for a frog is green, but they give you all these different colors. So it looks like okay paint. Um, I'm gonna get a piece of paper and we're gonna do a swatch kind of paint. So here's paper in the corner here. That's what this white chunk is, okay? Cool. So let's just, uh, oh shoot. I need a cup of water and a paper towel. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, so I've gotten everything ready now and uh, let's just do little swatches of all these colors. These very mini colors. I'll just take the stuff that's on the lid. Ooh, it's like watery and chunky. That's just such a fun texture. Ah, I'm kind of surprised with like the coverage of it. It's quite vibrant. I don't know if you can see it. And it's also like quite opaque. So I'm gonna continue doing swatches for all the different colors and I will come back when I finish all them, then I'll show you all the colors. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is what the colors ended up looking like. Um, the green and the blue were a little uh, like chunkier, and the white was really chunky, but the red and the uh, yellow were really, really good. I'm not sure if it's because of the paintbrush where it's like literally plastic, but I have a random little surprise. Because I didn't know how much paint was gonna be in this kit, this is so out of focus. Oh my gosh, because I didn't know how much paint was gonna be in this kit, I also bought this, 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 and this paint, and they all came in a set, and they all claim to be acrylic paints. So I'm also going to swatch, um, I say swatch, I mean just like do a little tester of paint on each one of these. So I'll come back when I've done that. Okay, I don't know if you can see this paint consistency, but it's like gloopy. Can you see that? It's like hard to move. Look, there's like, it's like jello almost. Okay, so these are the paints that came with the kit and these were the paints that I bought separately. These ones are, must be like watercolors because they're so chunky and jelly-like and they're not very pigmented. I'm just experimenting, but I want to make this work with only dollar store products. So. Okay, so I have this paint pot. I'm gonna mix this green, a bit of this white, and this like jelly green all together to hopefully make enough of the same color paint so that I can paint this frog. Normal paint consistency is literally jelly or something. Oops, I got it on my desk.
successfully, I think, emptied out three different types of paint into this container. I'm gonna mix it. You can't see it, but it looks like it's about to pour out onto my desk. Ready? Three, two, one, time lapse. finished frog and I think it's pretty good. I had to use some of my own paint for the eyes because um, I ran out of white paint. But yeah, other than that, I mean for the price, I definitely recommend it because it was literally only a dollar. But just be warned that you will want to get some other paint. Um, you can also get that from the dollar store, so if you really want this to come out nicely, I recommend spending at least like two dollars, which still isn't that, like isn't that much. So yeah, I think this is definitely worth it, but just be warned that it might not be everything you were expecting. But yeah, that's all I have for this video, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!